Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, we've done a little, a little pig rodeo here. These four pigs are the ones that were left in the main piggery. This old boar here, that little, that young little red boar that we saved, I don't know, a long time ago. This sow here still has a couple piglets, and that one there is pregnant. There's one sow up there that has the 11 piglets, and those are due to be weaned in, I think, nine days. <clears throat> so once her piglets are weaned, they're gonna go over there in that fattening pen, and then she is gonna go over with the other sows. These two boars here are for sale. Uh, whatever I can get for them, I don't care, 2K. Uh, and these two sows here, uh, this one, her piglets are due to be weaned in 13 days, I think, I can't remember. And she hasn't even had hers yet, so. Eventually, all the pigs are gonna be moved out of this main piggery. I haven't even talked to Tatai yet. Uh, well, the reason to move these, the reason I wanted them moved around was that, you know, we have the space for the bigger pens. There's no reason to, to keep a pig in a small pen when they can have a bigger pen. That's, you know, they got room to move around in more. So, why not? It's not that big of a deal, just so they can have a little bit of comfort. We haven't moved any into this pen, because this is the pen that Petunia died in. And another sow died in it right before Petunia, so... I don't know if there's something, it's something to do with this pen or what. But since we have other pens that are available, there's really no need to move a pig into it if it's questionable. If there's scorpions in there, or if there's an old disease in there that's still around, whatever. So, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm going to come back to these posts right here. So, this is going to be the end of the tank. Right here, all these inside walls are going to come down. And I'm going to take down that partition wall as well and uh, dig this out a little bit for drainage and to be able to work on this end so I still haven't gotten out the measuring tape I'm gonna pace it one two three four and six seven eight so 21 feet or so just call it 20 feet inside diameter and one two three four five six uh, by about 16 so 16 by 20 uh, it's going to be quite a project I do have a place to put all this uh, as we break all this down <laughs> it's going to go up in the driveway probably before we begin that uh, because it's you know it's it's the plan to uh, make a little circular driveway up there so I'm gonna go about about three or four hollow blocks high high as a retaining wall and then in fact I'll just go up and show you what I want to do up here So probably the first thing that we should do, even that I should do, even before we start taking that down, is complete this little um, fix it so I can put the blocks in for the driveway. I want to come up. So this is going to be the driveway where the van is here. And I want to come on this side with the uh, wall, like right on this side. 
this will be left as a slope here it will be cemented in at some point but go right around this corner here with the hollow blocks and built up about almost almost waist high to me like right here where I'm standing that's probably we'll, we'll call it four blocks and this will be filled in with more planters it will come right across here and go right in this area here the driveway itself will only come to like right here and then that'll leave like 18 inches <laughs> what are you doing that'll leave like 18 inches for a little planter or whatever here like this little coconut tree that Marcel has planted here will be on the driveway side probably put the wall right to the left of that little tree right there and make like an 18 inch wide planter all the way around and all that busted up concrete from the piggery we can put in here to uh, flatten it out a little bit make it a little more a little flatter uh, all the all the concrete from the floors before the floors were all cemented before that all came in right here as fill and as you can see right where the van is sitting it's been built up a couple feet so I'm just gonna extend that out to here so I guess the first project is to uh, is to get the hollow blocks in in a circle here this little this little tree here I'd been thinking about this is an ornamental palm of some kind and everyone that I've talked to says that we can break it up. Uh, you can uh, break it apart like a clove of garlic and replant it. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, uh, Miss Peanut Gallery? I think, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'd like to uh, put that in like every like six feet apart all the way around in the circle here. And... I don't know, maybe even interplant it uh, with the regular the coconut chain. trees. Ching, ching, ching. Over there, ching. <laughs> and it goes to ching. Like, oh. Uh, they're bought, they're bought. They're And I'm, I'm going to widen this little sidewalk some and make it a proper sidewalk. Tile it eventually. There's going to be a gate right here. And right about there and this will all be fenced in at some point to keep our dogs in not no, not necessarily keep people out but to keep the dogs in and it's going to be chain link and it's going to come uh, right along on this side of this coconut tree straight down here to the sidewalk there's going to be a turn here going to border this sidewalk and I'm thinking the more I think about it it's going to turn that way yes Consing is here the pigs are already moved bring that fence to this corner here uh, put a gate here a little fence there yeah we need to harvest the corn and run that chain link fence straight back that way So this, all this planter setup will have to be removed. This joke of a fence that we put up here for the garden, that's all going to be removed. Probably put some fill in here as well, a little bit. Bring that fence to like right here and then take it back that way, uh, back to the road in that direction. And this will be uh, the perimeter fence around the house. And of course, along the road. This area here, I'd always wanted to put like a little gazebo right here. And that's why we haven't done anything else with it. 
like from where that chair is there out to the fence and this area just like a you know like a deck uh, I have to do a little bit of something with this stump and so that everything's connected in with the dirty kitchen here plans so I'll get the driveway uh, the hollow blocks in the driveway started at least we can start with that and make some kind of a progress top die is going to be busy for another month probably <laughs> and so this is all going to fall to me and I don't mind I can get those I can get those blocks in I'm going to be loaning out the cement mixer the week after this next so I, I need to get this in uh, this next week so that's the that's the project that's the plan anything you would like to add ma'am Oh, I was talking about, you know, how handsome I am, uh, what a good husband I am. <gasps> yeah, because you make me my breakfast. So. Yeah, you see, who made your breakfast this morning, huh? You. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and at some point may finish this tank, uh, not finish it, but render it. So that it uh, looks a little more better than what it does. I want. You want? What do you want? I want that guy to make me something where I can hang my clothes. You can hang your clothes. Yeah, this one, the other one. Uh, You're not going to use this, right? What that, that pipe? pipe? Yeah. I'm gonna use that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna so use it. So I'm gonna use that, huh? Okay, huh? Okay. Gustang. What kind of trees are those right there that are doing so well? Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. This one, but this one. Maybe three meters. I'm gonna have a stand. Mm. So if we okay. put here or there or there. Well, alrighty then. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.